Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Restream tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add the chat from Restream. So this is the chat that includes all the different streaming platforms you're using to your live stream setup on OBS Studio. So this will allow you to display your Restream chat on your live stream as an overlay. Now, real quick, you can do this with the free version of Restream, but there will be a 15 second delay on the messages. So if you want to have them updated more, you need to get a paid version. And this video is actually sponsored by Restream, and I just want to thank them for sponsoring this video. And if you decide to upgrade to one of their paid versions, use the link in the description, you'll get $10 off your first month. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with how to add Restream chat as an overlay in your OBS Studio. All right, so the first thing we need to do is simply go to Restream and make sure we're logged into our account. In the left sidebar, select the three dots to open up the More section. And then in here, we'll select Chat. In this tutorial, we will be downloading the Restream chat software to our computer, but it is not a requirement. And really all we'll be doing with the software is customizing the way the chat looks on our stream. So the first thing we're gonna do is simply add it to our stream and then we can customize it with the software. And to do that, the first thing we need to do is simply copy this text right here where it says embed in stream. So select this little copy button, then go to OBS. Now in OBS to add Restream chat, as an overlay, we need to go to the sources section, then select the little plus symbol to add a new source. And then in here, select browser, it might be browser source, something like that. So go ahead and select that, create a new one. And then in the URL right here, we're going to replace that with the URL we just copied from Restream. Now I recommend changing the width and height here, go with a little bit of a more narrow width around I'd say 600 and then your height can go up to like 700, something like that. You can customize this later if you want. After that, select OK. So now we have this big blue box displaying the chat on our stream. Now, if you wanna get rid of that blue background and have a transparent background so it looks a little bit more sleek, there are actually two different ways to do that. And one of the ways actually involves downloading the Restream software. So if you don't wanna do that, I'll quickly go through how to make this transparent without the Restream software. So what we need to do is right click the browser source that we added down in the sources selection right here and go to filters. Under effects filters right here, select the plus symbol and then go to chroma key, select chroma key. You can give it a name if you want. Now what we need to do is give it a key color type. So we're gonna give it this blue color. So select green and then go to custom. And now go under key color, go to select color. Now I've already determined what color that is and it is right here. So I'm just gonna copy that and paste it in. I'll have this color in the description so that you can easily copy that as well. And I'll also display it in the video so that you can see it a little better. Once you add that color code into the HTML right here, select okay. And then what we need to do is under similarity, bring that down to one. And then what I like to do as well is bring the smoothness down. That just allows that chat to come through a little bit better. And now you're done, you can select close. So as you can see, now we have a transparent box that contains our chat. So we can move this wherever we want to. The only downside to using this method to get the transparent background is if Restream were to change that background color, you'd have to go through the steps again. All right, so now that we have our Restream chat set up as an overlay, let's go ahead and go back to Restream and download the software from them. So we're gonna use the left sidebar to again go to chat and then just select download for Windows. Then go through the installation process on your computer. Once we have the Restream chat software open, what we need to do now is go down to settings in the bottom right corner and then go to embed in stream. This will open up the settings for the chat app and in here, we can change different things about the way the chat will look when it's on our stream. So as you can see over here in OBS, I've gone ahead and removed that filter that made it transparent. It's much easier to make it transparent in the actual app. So in here, under the embed in stream settings, just go to chat background right here and go ahead and turn that down to zero. Now to see that new change reflected on OBS, all I need to do is right click the browser source, go to properties, and then scroll down in the settings here and go to refresh cache of current page. When it reloads, it'll have the transparent background as you can see. Now you can go through and change any of these settings that you want to in the Restream chat app, such as the theme, which I think is a really cool feature they have. So you can change the way it looks right here. 
and this will update instantaneously. You'll need to go through the same steps in OBS by clearing the cache to get it to reflect that change by going and right-clicking browser, going to properties, and then clearing that cache to actually see the change there. You also have the ability to turn down the transparency on the actual messages if for some reason you wanted to do that. And you can change the alignment so that they come up from the bottom or the top, whatever meets your needs really. You also have the ability to hide messages after a certain period of time. So by default, it'll be 30 seconds, but you can go all the way up to 180 seconds if you want to. By default, if you do not do that, the messages will not be hidden. They will just always stay on your stream. So it's really up to your preferences there. Now, once you're done editing these settings, if you don't want to have the chat app installed on your computer anymore, you can uninstall it and it will not affect the settings that you've changed. Now, if I go to my Twitch channel and just send a couple messages, you can see them show up right here in OBS and they would be displayed on any future streams that I have. All right, so that's how you overlay Restream Chat onto your stream using OBS Studio. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Restream or OBS Studio tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.